All right. Uh, oh, I just blanked for a second. That's going to be awesome. I'm not going to edit it out. That's going to be another thing. I'm trying not to edit these as much as possible, mainly because I really don't know how. Um, anyway, I'm Sith Lord 066. Uh, MJ Conroy. And we are going to mulligan this hand. Because uh, it's really bad right now. Um, I apologize. It's, I mean, it, yeah, it's 3.39 where I'm at. <clears throat> but I work midnight, so I literally just got up like an hour ago. And then spent an hour uh, putting those nifty graphics that you now see on my YouTube channel. Uh, so... Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're in actual tournament practice right now, so we're going to see what we can do against the real decks that probably have, like, three cards that cost more than this entire bad boy. Uh, I guess we're going to root on Craig. Pass the turn. It looks like we're probably playing Jund. Or Grixis, okay. Uh, anyway, um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Kevin Crimin or Crimin. I'm honestly sorry if I mispronounce your name, um, but he, uh, I think, really got me a lot of viewers the first day. Um, like my videos had like 93 views on day one, which is like crazy good for me. That was like not even remotely a goal. Of my, that I thought I'd be able to cre uh, make. So, uh, thanks again. Um, also, if I haven't mentioned it before, he graciously allowed me onto his clan. Uh, and if you don't know who Kevin is, which I'm sure you do, because if you're viewing my channel, it's probably from his. <clears throat> uh, he's also my first subscriber, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, a man who played in the Pro Tour. <laughs> Uh, for Dragon Space is my first subscriber. It's pretty insane. Um, anyway, he's also known as uh, Rogue Deck Builder on YouTube. Um, check out his stuff. It's freaking awesome. I actually run his Black Mono Vampire deck. It's pretty cool. Um, also, I believe he is... I don't know if employed or he was sponsored by Gathering Magic. I know that. And um, he's got a playing on the budget articles, which are pretty awesome as well. Um, I think we just want to try to get this Blood Crypt. I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but we're going to have to try it, right? He's probably got the counter. I'm not sure how many counters people play nowadays, to be honest, though. So he may not have it. But this is the kind of deck, uh, looking at it, that the, the Rurik Thars end up being pretty good in. Psychic Strike? Nope, Dissipate? Okay. <clears throat> swing it in. And if you first it don't succeed, my mom said always uh, try again. Um, probably get rid of that one if we can. <clears throat> okay. This ain't going to happen either. Oh. I guess it did happen. He just wanted to flip the mana. Alright. Get the green. What's he going to be doing? Think twice. Flashback? Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to give him a shout out again. I tend to lose train of thoughts, so I apologize. Um, what do we want to do? Bramble Crush? Hey, he might have a counter, but... Again, that'd be something I'd rather have him counter than actually. Right. Let's see if we can get that. 
because I kind of want to Chandra negative two double ramble crush. So, I guess this is like a Grixis control deck. And we are getting there with the Visionary. Just dang. Visionary beats. <coughs> Which would be a lot better if we had a Druid out still, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's funny that he had to waste that on the visionary. Okay. Alchemy. Alright, so he loses an essence scatter. No. Um, I guess we run this out and hope. I don't have much hope for it to hit, but you never know. I don't know how many counters this kind of deck runs. I didn't think they ran that many. I mean, we've already seen Dissipate, Essence Scatter. Alright, so that hits. So we'll go ahead and do one. Plus one it. And then next turn, I think we double Bramble Crush. Snapcaster. Yeah, so then he kills it. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting deck, my friend. He really just didn't... Okay, so... Does he have another Snapcaster dissipate? He could. So, let's go ahead and... Bramble Crush... That... And I'm running that out because I want to be able to take the counter out of him. Oh, no, he's just gonna he's gonna let it happen because we really want to just resolve this. We resolve this, we get two lands. I mean, and also, you know, we're keeping a control deck off of lands, so that's not unimportant. I mean, he keeps playing new ones, so it's not really doing a whole heck of a lot. <sighs> Snapcaster, Essence Scatter. got five guards in the hand, so I said, yeah, okay. Yep, you got it. You got it, champ! Uh, by the way, I'm playing Philly Cheesesteak. Which isn't my thing. No disrespect to all you Phillies people. I just don't really care for him. Alright, he's gonna loot. Looting main phase. Trying to find another counter. Or he's... Sphinxes? No. Can't Sphinx. Uh, Nim is it. Which I can block all day long. I mean, if he has another essence scatter, we're pretty boned, but not a whole lot I can do there. And this is where I think that the correct amount of uh, Bramble Crushes on the side is zero and I think two Cavern of Souls need to go in because if I can resolve a Rukthar in the next game, like he's pretty doomed
though. I mean, we do have a chance. No, I don't want to pay two life. I think maybe the loot house is next. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh boy, it's like, I have the answer. You play a spell, and I have the answer. Well, he's got three cards in hand, so... But now he's going to draw more from nib -Mizzet. So he goes to four cards. It's not looking good for the home team, people. Kind of need, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so. At least we'll be able to draw a card. Oh, sometimes shit just comes together. Oh, no, we lose now. I think we would have lost anyway. Because, yeah, five, seven, yeah, so we'll just concede this. We've lost. No sense to play this out. <sighs> I'm on it. Like, I don't. Th yeah, it was totally a misplay. Really? Okay, well, this will give us a chance to go ahead and. Um, this is the only thing I really don't care for as far as um, the non two man competitive cues. It's like if you play a deck and they don't know what deck you're playing, then it's beneath them to continue the game too because, oh, I'll just smash you anyway. I'm doing you a favor type of thing. And it's kind of really frustrating. It's like, dude, I'm trying to test my deck and you guys are just like, oh my. My Grixis control is way too good for your petty little cards. I don't understand it. I really don't. Alright, so what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to take out... I think we want these gone. Maybe one of these. I only have two caverns, so... It's not going to be super great anyway. And then I think we go to three. Um, yeah... So I think, in all honesty, we are going to go back to three Rorikthars. And this is another thing I kind of want to do on this uh, particular uh, YouTube channel. Um, a lot of people um, like show you like the finished product of the road deck. Like, oh, you know, I've been messing with it. And then, and then you come back like two weeks later and it's like, oh, I changed this. I kind of want to bring you in to the, I don't know, backstage area kind of, I guess. Um, where you kind of see not only like the deck, but you kind of can see the evolution of it. Like all, all of it, you know, in all its naked, unfettered glory. Um, in fact, actually at work yesterday, last night, I don't know why, but I was thinking about uh, Voral the Hallclade. Excuse me. And um, it became one of those things where I was thinking about EDH and Experiment Crash because I kind of want to build an Experiment Crash deck. And uh, I'm sitting there thinking about it and I'm like, oh, you know one of the cool things that they did with the Kraj deck is they would turn everything into an artifact and then give Planeswalkers counters. And then I kind of thought, well, yeah, they, with uh, Gideon Jura, you didn't even need to turn him into a Planeswalker because he was a creep. And then it hit me like, well, the new Gideon is a creature also. So then I kind of wanted to make a Bant deck and then basically, you know, you turn him into a creature and then you give him counters. You, you know, you double his counters and like real quickly reset the game and just win. Um, but then I got thinking, well, what other things go great with the counters? So then I was thinking, like, oh, you know, I'm going to 
definitely Biomancers, and then I'm thinking like, oh, but Predator Ooze is pretty awesome, and then I was thinking like Champions, but then there just isn't enough humans. But anyway, the long story, well, short story long, actually, is uh, what I'm going to do is, on my next paycheck, I'm actually going to put this deck together, and I'm going to kind of take you from the beginning, and like show you if it evolves, how it evolves, if we decide that it's just not viable at all. I'm going to show you like kind of my process as far as making the deck and what I do and how I test it and everything. And I mean, it might be interesting, it might be horribly boring, and if it is, then yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Just tell me, and we'll quit. Um, same thing, if you guys want to see um, Commander at all, let me know. I've got like two budget Commander decks as well. Anyway, all right. So, I'm going to play another one just because I didn't, you didn't really get to see a match. And I mean, we, you may never, because I mean, like I said, a lot of people just quit out because it's like, oh, you're not playing a, in fact, let me go ahead. No quitters. All right, I'll go ahead and host the game. Maybe that'll help. Because I mean, I want to kind of show sideboard, especially now that I've changed it. I want to see if it's okay. Cool. We got a, we got a contender. Here comes a new challenger. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, we got Rain in Heaven. Uh, let's see what we go here. Alright. Uh, uh, I guess that's keepable, actually. Uh, we got all of our manas. We got an Arch Druid. Uh, we're going to lead out with this, not take damage. At Faith the Turn. We got Mortars in case there's like a crazy quick start. Or, and we got John Derrixis or something. Alright, go green. Pass turn. Okay, so we got Grixis again. So apparently this Grixis is a thing. Which was unbeknownst to me. Alright, we want to get a mountain in case... I mean, I don't think we're going to need a mortar, but you never know. So we got the Essence Scatter? Nope. Is it Charm? Kills it. Oh no, he milled. That's weird. I mean, it's good. Milling two lands, too, which is pretty awesome for us. Although, he's playing more than Grixis. Oh, you know what? I know exactly what he's playing. Oh, he's playing the Travis Wu Doom by every th by turn four. So, this could actually be good for us because it doesn't play counters, and we are going to disrupt plans consistently and keep him off of lands, manas, and whatever else we need to do. So, alright, so we got red, green, green. This is a bad deck. I mean, not bad as in terrible deck. In fact, I Travis Wu is like one of my heroes. It's bad to play against because like he can just go off out of nowhere. Um, the thing is, we're gonna try to keep it off land, which the deck needs. 
He's already got omniscience in the yard, so we can't let him hit Obzadot's aid. Or we just lose out of nowhere. We just keep him off of white, we're good. Alright, so we've got. Alright, so we go one, two, three. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, we can go three. And then tap. Three, four, five. Slime. And we're going to again take out the lone white source. swing for two, which we should have done like two turns ago, but I forgot. So. He's going to try to hit land again. And we're going to just try to keep the consistently, always, and often keep them off of lands. Yeah, we don't want him like hitting any kind of land. Okay, he's looking down 6, 8, 10 damage next turn. Oh, excuse me. And the other cool thing I like about this deck is there's no sideboard, so... The deck doesn't necessarily get better after after siding. And we're going to get much better, I think, with... Uh, Alright, so we need, a, we need something right now. Something that destroys a land. Anything. That would be it. And our opponent has disconnected. Let's hope it was just an actual disconnection. And I mean, it does happen, because, uh, like, beta client and everything. So... We will see. And unlike last time, I'm not going to uh, bore you while we're waiting, so I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video. Alright, uh, we've given him five minutes. Apparently he decided not to listen to the comments at all and just not only quit out, but quit out and decided he was just going to rage quit. Well, I'm sorry it's anticlimactic, but uh, hey, we got a win against T-Woo's deck, so we'll call that a win for the home team. Uh, like and subscribe.